Eli and Edith Braun, Haim and Cheryl Saban, Joe and Sharon Hernandez, our good friend, Ed and Gail Roski and the San Manuel Band of Mission Indians, the San Bernardino County Tribe owns a casino in Highland, all stepping to the wow. plate so we can have this party I'm, here today. I'm blessed to have met some of those people and know some of them personally. I mean, that is that is not just Laker love. That's yeah. Los Angeles City love. That's a love for this, this this town, this state, and all of those that represent and love and support the Lakers. They're giving a thank you not only to this organization, but to everyone for supporting. There's our great blimp view. And uh, the majority of Laker fans obviously are here. You can't just step out of your office. You got to come down the street a little bit. I mean, when it was downtown, you could have run down the elevator, come right back. Okay, and you were head there, out. Yeah. Head out. <laughs> you know, you're going by the convention center when you're. This is the route that I take every day when I come to uh, Staples Center. Get off at Adams, right up Figueroa. I know this route very, very well. And a lot of locals. I'm going to mention it again because it's so inclusive. A championship. Uh, Michael talked about it earlier. You're talking about races, religions, the entire town, an entire community, not just L.A., but all of Southern California, galvanizing this place, Norm. And well, uh, this is the day that everybody can smile and celebrate Well, together. we've always talked about it. sports has always transcended political situations, racial situations. And I started back in the late 70s, but my brothers played ball. We're from Georgia in the 60s, late 60s. And I think the sports field was the one place where everybody just came together. People forgot about what was going on politically, what was going on in the world. They just wanted to support their team. And I, I think you can look at this crowd right now. Uh, they talked about it earlier. Everybody's representing this crowd. And they only represent it here for one thing, to support the team. We saw the uh, Larry O'Brien trophy, which will be displayed in Dr. Buss's office so prominently. You know, I love that joke. I love the joke, but that's that's Brian Shaw's head right there. That, <laughs> that, that's B. Shaw. Yeah, that's yeah, B. Shaw. He's, he's the Shaw. mold. He's the mold he's for the <laughs> trophy. You can never let Brian go because they, <laughs> they they'd have to break the mold and start all over again. And, and I think that was that was uh, the mayor with uh, holding the trophy. Was that the first time he he's, on, he's held it? I'm sure it is. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. I take that back. He was. No, it might be, might his be first I think. time. Yeah, yeah, because he uh, he wasn't the mayor. He wasn't the mayor back then. 2002. Again, to all the law enforcement. Uh, community uh, for being here and uh, for hoping, hopefully keeping the peace as uh, Derek and Kobe so eloquently said to celebrate like Laker fans with dignity and uh, so far so good it's been such a tremendous uh, party I know a lot of folks you guys are at home you, you were thinking about coming down but you said ah, 